Alright, what is going on everybody? It's ya Boyd, and welcome back to another episode of Boyd's Awesome Outdoors. Today we are going to talk about the five baits I will be I've been using in winter, my top five baits. And we'll be doing every other um, like season, fall, spring, summer, all those other guys and other videos. But right now we're going to talk about winter fishing. Now the one, the, these are the top five I will throw whenever I'm fit, uh, facing water temps in the mid to low 40s to mid 50s. And one of the first baits I'll pick up is a jerk bait. Now this is a Mega Bass 110 plus one deep diving jerk bait. Right, dives around eight to nine foot right there in that right range where the bass will be holding up and just wanting like a shad style pattern of just a bait fish when they're really feeding on bait fish in the lakes but on the river they're looking for more of a crawl pattern but I'll still throw this shad style pattern if the fish are a little bit more aggressive like smallmouth will definitely will will eat this and just trying to find more active fish in any of the lakes and you want to if you're facing smallmouth style rivers or fisheries you want to fish that jerk bait a little bit faster than you would for large mouth for smallmouth you want to fish it give it like a two to three second pause and go do more like two, three, and sometimes a four jerking, like like a jerk. <laughs> like just be able to jerk the bait and just one, two, pause, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and all that stuff. Next up is gonna be the Ned Rig. Now the Ned Rig has been exploding in the bass fishing industry ever since it first came out. And just to fish this in wintertime is just, you got, it's a have, a must have when you're fishing around a lot of rock, like a lot of structure basically, a lot of cover. And you can fish it any time, like fish it any time of year, but it really excels in wintertime. Just, I use a basic green pumpkin and all that stuff. Next up, it's going to be the finesse jig. Now the finesse jig is when I'm targeting those bass that are wanting a little bit bigger meal, the bigger bass, and just wanting to fish cover a little bit more, fish through rocks, a lot of rock piles, big brush piles, and all that stuff. And this one right here is a, I believe a 3 16 ounce AJ Finesse Jig by Jewel Baits, paired up with a Menace Grub, stri Striking Menace Grub and Watermelon Red, just a really natural finesse jig. And I want to fish it around a lot of cover, and just to fish it effectively and try to move, try to drag it on the bottom like an actual crawfish. Just here's the bottom, just drag it along. Stop it, let it sink, and drag it again. Just like that. And that's how I caught a lot of good sized fish. And next up is for something that's wanting a little bit faster presentation, but still fishing it very finessey. It's going to be the swim bait. Now, the swim bait has been a a pretty good uh, producer for like predatory style fish, not bass, like walleye and all that stuff, like sauger, all that stuff. That's what's been really what's been producing. But it's been catching some bass. It's caught some spotted bass for me. It's caught some smallmouth, and it's caught some largemouth. But the swim bait is really what you want to use whenever the fish, you're around a lot of shad, like a gizzard shad or a thread fin or anything else like that. That's what you really want to use whenever you're around a lot of bait fish. And the bass are more of like a little bit more suspended or hanging around like um, bridge pilings and all that stuff. Next up, it's going to be the Nico rig. Now the Nico rig is whenever those fish are very, very finicky. Like they don't want to do anything. They want to sit there. They don't want to move. They want to be like they just want to be buttheads. And um, this bait right here is a good bait to throw or good rig to throw when you're around suspended fish and also around fish that just don't want to bite and just it's a good all-around style of fishing where you take a nail weight any it doesn't matter I like to use the tungsten a 3 30 seconds ounce tungsten weight you go to the biggest head like the fattest head of the worm as possible you want that nail weight to sit on the fat end and have that small end sit up and do most of the action and now you take that neat, that circle hook, you go in the middle, just about a quarter inch out, quarter inch in, and come right back out. And there you go. That's how you rig up the Nico rig. All right. So 
I covered the basis of what I will throw during the winter. I know I haven't covered some of the techniques I will use, but this is my top five to go like go to fishing lures to fish during this time of year. And hopefully you guys will use some of these techniques and it'll help you catch you more fish and make sure make sure you catch your biggest fish of the uh, of your life during this time of year because this is when you catch your bigger bass. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Be sure to leave a like. Comment down below what I should do next or what should I fish with or all that stuff. Do like a challenge or anything else like that. Be sure to subscribe. If that thing, if the subscribe button is red, I don't think you have to subscribe to it. But be sure to subscribe. And if you see a little bell that doesn't it ain't ringing, be sure to hit that little notification bell whenever I update and then be able to notify you. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you on the next one.